My name is Rocco Patron, principal of Hazelton Area High School. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Rocco Patron. Yo soy el principal de la high school area de Hazelton. I am pleased to announce we will be moving forward with our instruction beginning Monday, May 4th. Nosotros estamos complacidos en informar de que vamos a continuar nuestra instrucción comenzando el lunes 4 de mayo. We will be utilizing the Ingenuity platform, which is the platform we use in our virtual academy cyber school. Nosotros estaremos usando la plataforma de Ingenuity, el cual es la plataforma que está siendo usada en la escuela cibernética del área de Hazel. This platform is designed to help students navigate their lessons at their own pace. Esta plataforma está siendo uh, diseñada para navegar, hacer el, el proceso de navegación de los estudiantes de una manera acorde. For students in grades 7 and 8, along with their parents, Please visit your individual teacher's website for complete instructions on Ingenuity. Para los estudiantes en los grados séptimo y octavo, acompañados de sus padres, por favor vayan a las páginas web individualmente de cada maestro para accesar la información académica. For those in grades 9 through 12, along with your parents, simply visit the Hazelton Area High School website for complete instructions on Ingenuity. Para los grados 9 hasta el 12, acompañados de sus padres, por favor accesen la página web de la high school para más información en este proceso. The week of May 4th will be a review of quarter 3 material. This will give students the opportunity to increase their quarter 3 grade. Your grade can only increase, not decrease. En la semana del 4 de mayo estaremos repasando el material del tercer cuarto. Este material, una vez más, es para hacer de repaso. Esto es para incrementar la calificación. No calificación será disminuida, simplemente será incrementada. Beginning Monday, May 11th, we will begin new instruction for quarter four. Again, students will move at their own pace. Comenzando la semana del 11 de mayo, estaremos introduciendo nuevo material. Una vez más, este material va a ser introducido a su propio ritmo. Grade point averages will be based on quarters one, two, and three, which includes class rank and weighted courses for grades nine through 12. Calificación de averaje va a ser considerada para los cuartos uno, dos, y tres, y este cuarto va a ser uh, implementado para los rangos de clasificación de grados. Mrs. Michelle Medic, our coordinator of our Virtual Academy Cyber School, will conduct this evening's training. Nuestra coordinadora de la Escuela Cibernética, la señora Michelle Medic, estará conduciendo el entrenamiento esta noche. U.S. parents and students will have the opportunity to ask questions, and we will get back to you with answers as soon as possible. Ambos, estudiantes y padres, van a tener la oportunidad de uh, hacer preguntas y cualquier pregunta que ustedes tengan, nosotros vamos a responder lo más pronto posible. Before Mrs. Medic begins her presentation, I am pleased to introduce our superintendent of schools, Mr. Brian Uplinger. Antes de presentar a la señora Medic, estoy complacido de presentar al superintendente de escuelas, el señor Brian Uplinger. Good evening, parents. As Mr. Patron has introduced, uh, I'm superintendent of schools, Brian Uplinger. Buenas noches. Así como el principal de la escuela, el señor Patron, uh, acaba de anunciar, mi nombre es el señor Brian Uplinger, soy el superintendente de la escuela. Very pleased to be with you here this evening, and I wanted to uh, go over a few of the end of the school year and possibly the beginning of this next school year with you. Estoy complacido de comunicarme con ustedes y a continuación le voy a dar información para lo que queda de este año escolar y comienzo del próximo año escolar. As of right now, we will be ending our school year June 5th, 2020. Uh, por ahora, estaremos finalizando el año escolar el 5 de junio. As for next year, there's always a possibility that we will not be back in the buildings, depending on how this pandemic uh, continues. 
En cuanto al próximo año escolar, existe la posibilidad de que no estemos comenzando en las escuelas. Esto todo depende en esta situación con la pandemia que está ocurriendo. That information was provided to us via our uh, Pennsylvania Department of Education, Pedro Rivera. Esa información fue suministrada a través del secretario del Departamento de Educación de Pensilvania, el señor Pedro Rivera. We'll continue to watch as uh, things unfold. As you know, this is a very fluid situation and we'll get that information out to you as soon as possible. Nosotros continuaremos chequeando esta información. Esto ha sido una situación que está totalmente en continuación y le estaremos dando más detalles y actualizaciones tan pronto recibamos la información. Please just take this one step at a time and do what you can with what you have in, in your homes. Por favor, tomen esto paso a paso y hagan lo mejor que puedan con las instrucciones o las informaciones que tienen. Again, I'm grateful for all of you and everything that you're doing with your children at home, and please be safe. Una vez más, estoy agradecido de todo lo que están haciendo por sus niños, y por favor, manténganse a salvo. Thank you. Gracias. Good evening. My name is Michelle Medic, and I am the coordinator of the Hazelton Area Virtual Academy, the cyber school through the school district. I'd like to thank you all for coming this evening. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Michelle Merrick y soy la coordinadora del programa cibernético del área de Hazleton, la escuela cibernética del área de Hazleton. Estoy complacida de hablar con ustedes. Your children's teachers have been working very hard these past few weeks to prepare them for coming back to school online. Los maestros han estado trabajando muy duro para preparar el material necesario para poder regresar a instrucción en línea. I'd like to share with you this evening a parent-student orientation video. Me gustaría mostrar con ustedes esta noche una orientación en video del sistema. Hello, I'd like to thank all of you for coming this evening. My name is Michelle Medic, and I am the coordinator for the Hazelton Area Virtual Academy. Your children's teachers have been working very hard these past few weeks to prepare them for coming back to school online. During the week of May 4th, this is going to be a review for your child. They will have the opportunity to complete missed assignments and improve on their grades. During the week of May 11th, we will start with new content. Your child will receive a grade of either a satisfactory or an unsatisfactory. One helpful hint that I'd like to offer is that you should use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as your web browser. Welcome to Edgenuity, where learning clicks. Once you've logged in, you'll see a tile for each course or program you currently have active. To get started, you can click Next Activity, or you can click anywhere else on the tile to go to the course map. Click a tile to go to the course map now. This is your course map. From here, you can view the entire structure of your course. If your teacher has set a target date for you, you can check the due dates in your course map to see exactly what you need to do each day to stay on track. As long as you complete all your assignments for the day, you'll stay on pace. You can also view your e-notes here. As you work through the course, you may see alerts appear. For example, if you fall behind, you'll see a message telling you how much work you need to do to catch up. If you have feedback from a teacher, you'll see an alert like this. And if you forget to submit an activity for your teacher to grade, you'll see a reminder like this. Don't forget to submit your work once you finish it. A few other helpful things to notice. Want to switch courses? You can navigate among your active courses right here. Or go back to the home page. Need help using Ingenuity? Visit the Help Center, where you'll find videos, resources you can download, and frequently asked questions. On the course map, most activities will show up as grayed out and locked unless your teacher has allowed you to move freely throughout the course. To work on any activity that's unlocked, click the activity title. This activity is a warm-up or introduction. Let's take a look. This activity starts with a video. You can pause and rewind the video at any time using the video controls here. 
If you've already watched the video the whole way through once, you can fast forward to the part you want to see again. However, you can't fast forward through any video segment you haven't watched yet. You do need to watch every video once all the way through. You can control the volume here. And you can turn captions on here. It's important to know that most of the important information you'll be tested on will be taught here in the videos. So pay attention and take good notes. You'll find your e-notes or digital notebook here. You can take notes at any time. Pause the video if you want to. Or if you're a fast typist, you can take notes while the teacher is talking. Once you add a note to your notebook, you can go back and edit it if you need to. Just click the note and it'll appear in the eNotes text box. Edit your note and click save. Now you may find that you want to add more to your notes. In advanced mode, you can use formatting tools like tables, an equation editor, a symbol palette, and bulleted lists. We find that students who take notes tend to do better on quizzes and tests. Taking the time to write down the important ideas in your own words will help you process and remember what you learn. So use your e-notes. Another helpful tool is the glossary, found on this second tab. All the vocabulary words for the lesson will appear here, but you can also look up any word you want. To go back to the lesson word list, just close the word lookup window. The third tab contains a transcript of the current activity. You can view this transcript in English, or you can translate it into any supported language, as long as you have the translation enabled. Just open the transcript and select your language here. Sometimes the video will pause, and you'll be asked to complete a task. On any task, you can use the tools in your toolbar. In math and science courses, you can use the built-in calculators to solve problems. Depending on the course, you might have access to a standard calculator, a graphing calculator, or other specialized calculators. In any course, you can highlight text. This can help you pay attention as you read, especially when you're asked to read extended articles and stories. If you have Read Aloud enabled, you can hear text read aloud. Just highlight what you want to hear and press the Read Aloud button. The runner travels. If you have translation enabled, you can change the languages of most on-screen text here. Some of these languages also work with the Read Aloud tool, so try it out. Il grafico mostra la distanza. Now when you want to leave an activity, just click the home button in the upper left corner of your screen. Don't worry, we'll always save your work. When you come back to the activity, you'll be able to pick up where you left off. Now it's time to get started in your online course. When you first log in, I would recommend that you use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Cuando inician la sesión, les recomiendo que usen los programas ya sea de Mozilla Firefox o Google Chrome. You will go to the high school web page in order to log in. Usted va a ir a la página web de la high school de manera de iniciar la sesión. For the middle school, you'll go to your child's teacher's web page. Para la escuela intermedia, ustedes estarían yendo al maestro de sus niños. When you're on the high school web page, you'll scroll down and click on the Edgenuity logo. Cuando están en la página web de la high school, ustedes van a bajar en el menú y van a ir a la opción de Engineering. In addition, we have parent and student resources in English and in Spanish. In addition to esto, we have the instructions or resources of the program of Ingenuity for parents and maestros in English and Spanish. There will be an Ingenuity login, as well as the student orientation video that you just watched. Va a haber una iniciación de sesión de Ingenuity, una sección para ello y una, un video de orientación para los estudiantes. When you log in, you'll see a tile for each one of your child's courses. Cuando vayan a inicien la sesión, van a ver la instrucción de cada uno de los materiales de sus niños. 
When you log into a course, you'll see the child's course map. Cuando inicien la sesión del, del curso, ustedes van a ver un mapa del curso de la asignación del niño. A student cannot jump ahead, they must work in order. El estudiante no se puede saltar de pasos, tiene que continuar en orden. A student will get a 100 for a warm-up, instruction, and summary. El estudiante va a recibir una calificación de 100 en la sección de calentamiento y la sección de resumen. They will receive actual grades for assignments, quizzes, and unit tests. Van a recibir calificaciones actuales en asignaciones, evaluaciones continuas y resúmenes. When a student logs into their course, they have the opportunity to convert the text to any supported language. Cuando accesen a la lección, El estudiante tiene la, la opción de tomar el texto y ponerlo en cualquier idioma que sea necesario. All they have to do is click on the language. Todo lo que tienen que hacer es hacer un clic en el idioma. In addition, students have a toolbox on the side where they can take notes, look up words in the glossary, or view the transcription. Adicionalmente, hay una casilla de herramientas en el cual el estudiante puede tomar notas, puede hacer nuestra revisión e ir a la sección de glosarios. Students can also take e-notes, but we do recommend that they use pen and paper. Los estudiantes tienen la opción de tomar uh, notas claves, pero es recomendable que tomen estas notas en lápiz y papel. Students can also communicate with their teachers via email. Los estudiantes también pueden comunicarse con los maestros a través del correo electrónico. All they would do is click on the envelope. Todo lo que tienen que hacer es hacer un clic en el sobre. Click new message. Hacer un clic donde dice nuevo mensaje. Click on the arrow down button to select the recipient. Hacer un clic en la flecha para recibir el recipiente. Only, uh, I'm sorry, only teacher's names are listed. So a student can only email their teacher. Solo los nombres de los maestros están enlistados. De esa manera, los estudiantes solamente tienen acceso a sus maestros. They will find their teacher's name, click, and click add recipient. Ustedes van a encontrar el nombre de su maestro. Y van a hacer un clic donde dice añadir al recipiente. Click on subject. Type in your subject. Van a hacer un clic donde dice objetivo. Y van a estar en el objetivo. And click in the content and type in the content area. Then click send. Van a hacer un clic en el área de contenido. Y una vez que esté completado, ustedes van a hacer un clic en la sección de mandar. To get back home, the student will click on the toggle switch. Para regresar a la opción principal, van a hacer un clic en la opción uh, para ir a la sección de uh, principal. If you have any further questions, please follow the contact information on the current page. Si tienen preguntas en el futuro, por favor sigan la información de contacto que está contenida en esta página.